Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I am Manohar and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to learn the steps on how to compact a virtual hard disk in Hyper-V. When creating virtual machines with Microsoft Hyper-V, it's common to select a dynamically expanding disk as they offer benefits such as reduced physical hard disk space usage and quicker creation times. However, a downside to this is the inability to automatically reclaim space. For example, if 10 GB of data is copied into the virtual machine, the physical VHDX file will grow by 10 GB. When this 10 GB of data is deleted, the physical VHDX file size does not decrease. Over the time, the physical VHDX file can grow to the maximum size of the virtual disk, leading to a substantial waste of storage space. To resolve this issue, Hyper-V provides a compact disk feature within the Edit Disk section which helps manage the size of your VHDX file. Compacting a VHDX file involves removing unused space from the virtual disk to reduce its size. This is useful for dynamically expanding disk which increase in size as data is added but do not automatically shrink when data is removed. Compacting the VHDX file will reduce the physical file size on the host system without changing the logical size of the disk within the virtual machine. Before compacting a virtual hard disk, it is advisable to create a backup to safeguard critical data in the event of a disk failure. Keep in mind that the VM using the disk must be turned off for the compact operation to be successful. If the virtual machine has checkpoints, you will be compacting the active VHDX file. In Hyper-V Manager, select the VM that you want to compact. Right-click on the VM and select Settings. Click on Hard Drive to access the virtual hard disk attached to the virtual machine. Click Inspect to check how much space a virtual hard disk is using. The current VHD file size is 15.6 GB and the maximum disk size is 127 GB. Click on Close to exit. Let's walk through the process of compacting this VHD file using Hyper-V Manager. Click Edit to open the Edit Virtual Hard Disk Wizard. Click Next to continue. Select the compact action and click Next. The final page allows you to review your selection and cancel if necessary. Click Finish to start the process. This process may take some time, so be patient and wait for the compacting to finish. Depending on the amount of work required, this process may be quick or slow. The process is complete. Now click Inspect to verify that the disk file size has been reduced. The current VHD file size is 14.29 GB down from 15.6 GB before compacting. We can also use Windows PowerShell to compact the dynamically expanding VHD file. For that, check out the next video on how to optimize the Hyper-V VHDX file using Windows PowerShell. That's all for this video on how to compact virtual hard disk in Hyper-V. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Hyper-V and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.